prostate cancer is not a death sentence. You know, especially we caught it early. It was local, it hadn't spread it, so we had options. So we did the radiation, uh, it was 10 weeks. After the 10 weeks, um, we tested and my PSL levels are undetectable. So I'm, I'm truly grateful. When patients get diagnosed with prostate cancer, they're faced with various options of how to treat it. The main choices are to have surgery or to have radiation. As far as the radiation options, the main choices are whether to proceed with IMRT or intensity modulated radiotherapy or SBRT, which is stereotactic body radiotherapy. IMRT uses a special form of uh, technology that allows us to shape the beam precisely so only the prostate gets most of the dose. SBRT does the same exact thing, but it does it quicker. So instead of coming in for treatments once a day, five days a week for several weeks, SBRT allows us to make it happen in five treatments. You may also hear about the proton therapy. That's a different form of radiation. It does the same uh, idea in the sense that it treats the prostate while trying to avoid those other organs. The national guidelines, including American Urologic Association, ASTRO, and National Comprehensive Cancer Center Network, all published guidelines saying that protons and photons have the same outcomes as far as, as uh, side effects and cancer control. With protons, a rectal balloon is used. Um, as far as the IMRT and the photons go, uh, we don't have to use that balloon. Now we work at Riverside very closely with the urology colleagues to decide which patient qualifies for which. As far as the radiation options, the prostate needs to be on a smaller side to qualify for SBRT, and the cancer has to be lower risk or intermediate risk for the patients to qualify. So you're not just left on your own to fend for yourself, there is always gonna be a team by your side and we're here for you to help you navigate through this difficult process so you don't have to be making this decision on your own. From day one, the, um, the staff made the whole process very comforting. Um, I didn't feel like a patient. I felt like a human being and they were there with me every step of the way. So I was grateful for that, very grateful for that.